Yo, what's going on guys? This is Snake Beer and I'm back with a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you the best settings for Streamlabs in 2024 updated. If you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, or without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So I have done a video on this in the past about three, four months ago, but of course it's now become outdated because Streamlabs do more settings, new changes, and there is different things that are missing. So I have done a new video because I'm getting a lot of comments in there saying outdated outdated well unfortunately that happens so let's make a brand new updated one and hopefully i can keep those people happy so straight away we're going to dive into it we're going to go into the general section there's nothing you need to worry about on here the only thing i would make sure you definitely have ticked is your confirmed stream title and game before going live this basically means you can set it and you know change it whether you need to or not but it just means you don't go in there with the same stream title every time next over we're going to go to multi-streaming this is obviously if you want to stream on twitch youtube uh, kick all at the same time but you do have to pay for it using Streamlabs. so you've got to upgrade if you don't want to be paying any money i think obs do it for free so you could always move over to their service but at the end of the day if you like Streamlabs and you're happy paying for it then of course you can use that service um next over we're going to go to stream this is obviously just where you connect your accounts so i've got my twitch connected there as you can see snake beer feel free to follow me um, next over we're going to go into the output section so we're going to make sure we have advanced mode set on and then we're going to go into the streaming section first of all we have our audio track set to number one this is just standard next over you've got twitch vod and then you need to have that set to any number you want i have it set to two now this depends if you are listening to music on stream if you're listening to music on stream you need to be having twitch vod ticked because then you will not get copyright strike and your streams will not be getting muted if you do not do this then you're obviously say you're going to get strikes you're going to get muted and it's going to ruin the actual quality of the vods so what i would do is have this checked i've got that set to two and just a quick rundown i do have a separate video for this if you want to see it i'll put it on the outro um but yeah for example deezer is the, uh, the program that i use to listen to music you can use obviously spotify and things like that um and then i see i have it unchecked on channel two so that means anything that deezer plays it will go on the live stream but it will not go on the vod therefore no copyright strike as i say if you need a little bit more details i say wait for the video at the end um next over we're going to go encoder we have that set to nirvana new have that that is the best one you can have on there um enforce streaming service encoder settings i have this checked we have um rate control set to cbr the bitrate have this set to six thousand don't go any higher or any lower six thousand is a sweet spot if you have it too high then people are not able to watch the streams and then obviously if you have it too low then it's going to start affecting the quality it's going to look fuzzy and rubbish uh so 100 go for six thousand that's a sweet spot next over we got keyframe intervals have this set to zero that's auto um presets you want to have it set to p7 slowest best quality because this is the best quality you're going to get for the stream we then also have uh tuning you've got high quality once again, the best quality we can have on the stream. Um, over into the next bit, we got multi pass mode. We want two passes, full resolution. We don't only want any of that half stuff. We want the full resolution. We also then have profile set to high. Make sure you have that set to high. So then uh, that's once again the best it can be. Um, and we got psycho visual tuning selected. Don't have a uh, look ahead checked. And then I've got GPU set to zero. And I've got max B frames set to two. Moving into audio, this is obviously where you're going to set your best audio setting. So you've got 48KHZ, um, have that set to 48, it's the best one you can have. Um, the rest of it you wouldn't worry too much about. Um, you obviously want to select your microphone on here. So for example, you can see there, I've got different options, but obviously Blue Snowball is the one that I'm using to speak to you guys right now. Um, and then, yeah, you can obviously have also your desktop audio all set up there as well. Um, moving forward we then obviously have video i have mine set to um 1080p uh so we got 19 20 by 1080 uh, i find that this is good i used to stream with 4k resolution and i just found that at the end of the day it was just not needed it didn't make a difference if you're streaming on something like twitch it is going to just bring it down anyway i don't know about youtube i think youtube does allow you to actually stream in 4k so you might want it higher up if you are streaming on that service but definitely on twitch there's no point because you're not going to get any higher than 1080p so yeah i 100 percent would just keep it to that um then obviously the output is going to go to 1080 again your um downscale you're going to have that set to um sharpen scale 32 samples 
and then your um, FPS is going to be common FPS values, and you're going to have that set to 60. 60, once again, is the best. Um, after that, we got things such like hotkeys. I wouldn't worry too much about that. We have the advanced section here. Once again, we're going to be making sure we've got everything set to high. So, for example, we've got the processing priority set to high. Um, the color, we've got this set to NV12, um, 8 bits. Um, the uh, colors, I have this set to the uh, Rec 70 nine um then we have the colors um this one might be personal preference because i've seen people have it differently i personally prefer having it on full this gives me the most color range in my eyes but um some people have had it the other way around so you might want to change that depending on your personal preference um force gpu as a render device ticked you then have the sdr white values uh white white levels sorry not values white levels set to 300 hdr uh, normal nominal peak levels set to 1k 1000 and then for example uh, audio just have that set to default uh, that's obviously just going to decide where your files will go um scene collections don't worry about that and um, notifications don't worry about that i mean you can play it if you want um apart from that the rest of it is just not needed the rest of it is all good so yeah that is literally everything i hope you have enjoyed if you have make sure you please like comment subscribe um yeah any questions i'll uh, pop them down in the comments down below and i'll try and help but yeah i will leave the the in the outro in a second the video for the vods if you don't want to get copyrighted so yeah without further ado i'm going to shut up and i'll see you all in the next video